According to Plutarch, Alexander's mother, Olympias, was a princess of the royal house of Molossia in Epirus. Molossus, the man after whom the dynasty was named, was the son of Neoptolemus and Andromache. Neoptolemus, you may remember, was the son of none other than Achilles. Therefore, Alexander was a direct lineal descendant of Achilles, the hero of the Iliad, the national epic of Greece. On his father Philip's side, Alexander was a descendant of a man named Caranus, who was a descendant of Heracles. Heracles, you may remember, was famous for his 12 labors that he had to perform in order to atone for the murder of his wife and children. Again, another great hero of Greece's mythological past. So on both sides of Alexander's family tree, he was descended from great heroes of Greece's past. And Plutarch says that all of this was agreed upon. Why is all of this significant? Mostly because it provides a source-based answer to what has become one of the most controversial and politically sensitive questions about Alexander of the modern world. That is, what was his ethnic identity? If Plutarch and his sources are correct, Alexander, on both sides of his family, was descended from certifiable Greek heroes.